A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m. Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Roger Allen. Today, our topic is the remnant. Just before I speak to you, let us pray. Father, our God, we thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for each other. And Lord, as I am about to share today's lesson with your people, I ask that your Holy Spirit will use me in a special way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The remnant. As we have seen in past lesson, we have realized that God always leave a remnant. At the flood, when the sin of men went up before the Lord, Noah and his family represented the remnant. But why has God always selected a remnant? I just want for us to look at a few texts sharing today's lesson about what promise God has for his remnant. In Isaiah 4, sorry, in Isaiah 4 verse 3 says, And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy even unto everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. We further see that in Micah, in Micah 4 verse 6 and 7, it says that, In the day, saith the Lord, will I assemble her that halteth, and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that had afflicted, and I will make her that halted remnant, and her that was cast far off a strong nation. And the Lord shall reign over them in Zion, from henceforth even forever. You see, friends, it doesn't matter how much we plunge in sin. God has always have a remnant. This remnant is to glorify God and to be a witness that there is still a true and living God who loves his people, who cares for his people, who is long-suffering to his people. Zephaniah 3, 12 and 13 states, I will also live in the midst of thee, an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. And in verse 13, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed a lie, feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. So God keeps on giving his covenant, his promise, to those who are faithful to him. But what about you and I today? We'll look at ancient Israel and we can identify the different times they have apostatized, the different times they have fallen into idolatry. But can we see ourselves? God today have a remnant people. Is that remnant person you? Or remnant people you? Is that remnant I? But God will always preserve some people, not because of his choice, but because the choice that we make to serve him. So the question I ask you today, are you God's remnant? And if so, what are you doing about it? I invite you to share the love of God, to share the glory of God to those whom you contact, come in contact with. So let your light shine that men may see your good work and come to glorify your God and your Lord, which is in heaven. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Oh God, our Father, we thank you that you have never leave us nor forsake us. Amidst our sinful nature, you have been there with us to protect us and to guide us. Help us to listen to your call, to obey your words, and to trust in you faithfully. Help us as a people to humble ourselves, knowing that you are our God. I pray, oh God, that we will learn to share your words with others so they may see the light in us. Thank you for your blessing, your mercy, and your patience. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. And please, join us tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. Until then, God bless. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.